Kentucky Council President supports the mandate. Three of his colleagues are pushing back and Nebraska Medicine's Chief of Infectious Diseases says better late than never. We need to do it now. Omaha's first responders are sick. Okay, I got it here. And the frontline health care workers are tired. By having a mask mandate in place for the next four weeks is only common sense. These three city council members disagree. Don Rowe, Amy Melton, and Brinker Harding. Mask mandates do not solve the issue. Is there a different solution that you think works? I'm not, I, believe me, I'm not the scientist, and I don't know what the answer is. Mask wearing isn't going to happen help the hospital capacity. Those are staffing issues that we have to help. There's a lot of people with COVID um, in the hospital. Um, I think that vaccinations help reduce the number of hospitalizations, not masks. And I also think we need to increase the staffing so that they can increase the number of beds as well. So I, again, it's finding, a, coming up with a solution that's not solving the problem. It is at capacity. Health Director Dr. Lindsay Hughes says a mask mandate is the answer because she's projecting a 40% increase in COVID cases. We have to find ways to build capacity and to give breathing room to our health care providers so that they can take care of everyone in Omaha uh, as they as they need it and they deserve it. City Council President Pete Festerson supports Dr. Hughes's decision. Uh, we understand her concern about the rising case and the surge of cases across the community. And we do think a temporary measure is necessary to help keep our schools and our first responders and our hospitals operating well. Dr. Rupp says a well-constructed, non-vented, multi-layer mask indoors is the best solution. He says just waiting for the surge to end is the wrong option. Do what we can over the next few weeks to keep our schools open, to keep our businesses open, to keep our hospitals functioning. Now the health director has the support from Douglas County's Board of Health. Its president, Chris Rogers, agrees with Dr. Hughes that the goal here is to help healthcare workers and limit capacity.